Imagine that you are building a website that needs to collect and aggregate currency rates from different banks and display them beautifully on a web page. Each bank has its unique API, so you want to design your application so that adding a new banking API is a simple task. Also, if some banks decide to change their API, you certainly don't want to break other API's code. You want a unified source of information, so you need to adapt the information banks provide. Did I say adapt? Yes, so let's use the adapter design pattern here. The adapter is a structural design pattern that allows objects with incompatible interfaces to work together by providing a bridge between them. It acts as a translator, allowing two classes with different interfaces to communicate and collaborate seamlessly. First, let's create the bank interface. Here we have methods getRate, getCurrencies, getBankName, and so on. Next, we will create an adapter class for each bank we need and call them bank1 adapter, bank2 adapter and bank3 adapter. Each of these adapters must work with its bank and convert its incompatible interfaces to our unified interface. When we want to add a new bank, we need to add a new adapter class for that bank and use it like the others. Also, if some banks decide to change their API, which breaks their adapter code on your site, you can properly handle this situation or ignore the broken bank APIs. There are three actors in this design pattern. First, target is an interface that the client's code expects to work with. Then, adaptee is a class with an incompatible interface that must be adapted to work with the client code. And finally, the adapter itself. This class implements the target interface and interacts internally with the adaptee, translating calls and operations as needed. The adapter design pattern offers a range of benefits. It enables classes with different interfaces to work unitedly, significantly aiding in code reuse and seamless integration. This pattern ensures that disparate systems communicate effectively, enhancing the application's overall architecture. It also promotes a clear division between the client code and the complexities of external API. This separation fosters modularity, making the system more manageable and easier to navigate. The adapter proves to be invaluable when it comes to integrating pre-existing legacy code into new and involving systems. It ensures a smoother transition and enhanced compatibility. While the adapter pattern offers numerous advantages, it also introduces an additional layer of complexity to the codebase. The added complexity can lead to challenges in understanding and maintaining the code, particularly for those unfamiliar with the design pattern. The adapter's additional layer can result in performance overhead, the next potential disadvantage. It could slow down the system, particularly when high efficiency and speed are crucial. Additionally, the adapter pattern may require significant effort to implement when dealing with complex interfaces or APIs. Further, it may only sometimes yield a clean and elegant solution, potentially leading to imperfect results in terms of code clarity and functionality. That's all about the adapter design pattern. See you in the next video.